Plastic is literally at everyone's fingertips, much more than we'd care to admit. Much of the plastic, once used and carelessly discarded, eventually makes its way into the sea. Sandy Robson, the solo Australian kayaker, advocates on promoting strong connections with nature. Sandy's own environment connection is with the sea and life within it. I've had whales singing underneath my kayak to each other. Um, I've seen uh, sea snakes sleeping on the surface. and As the consumption of plastic across the world increases, so does danger to marine life. Robson has encouraged Papua New Guineans to look after the sea and marine environment. She says people should not throw plastics around carelessly as it can pollute the sea and contaminate fish, a main source of protein. I'm really trying to stop people from putting their plastic in the sea to throw it away. They think that they put it on the beach and the tide just takes it away to somewhere, but where does it go, you know? It goes into the ecosystem, breaks down into small pieces, those small pieces absorb toxins, the fish eat them, and then you're poisoning yourselves. Sandy Robson was escorted into Lay Harbour from Wasu Tewaisiasi district by a South Sea Lines vessel headed by Captain Josateki Tarogi. She is confident that she can handle the sea condition for the rest of her trip. Robson is looking forward to meeting more women in PNG before she leaves for the next province on her journey. Her next destination will be in Popendeta in Oro province, and then she is on to Alatau in the Milan Bay province. She hopes to visit all areas on the coast of PNG before heading back to Australia. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lei.